Hi guys, welcome back to yet another video. My name is Martin. I'm filming this in my storage unit tonight. Tonight being Sunday night. And today, uh, my brother Manuel and I, we went to the Geelong uh, Toy and uh, Comic Book Fair. Or Geelong Comic and Toy Fair. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's our second year going to Geelong. And um, I bought uh, a few books. Here they are. <laughs> I didn't buy all these today in Geelong. What uh, happened was uh, on Friday, I went to uh, someone's house to pick up the, the remaining lot of this order uh, that I'd placed. And it had been two months since I'd been there. Uh, and I just, I kind of forgot that they were there. Um, so I'm not going to show everything I bought, uh, but I am going to show a whole lot of Tarzan books. And uh, the last two books that I'm going to show in this video are going to be the two kind of, well, yeah, there's there's one key issue um, and there's another issue. I bought two issues today from <clears throat> from Geelong. Um, I I, uh, I was very uh, uh, conscientious <laughs> with my purchases. But anyhow, uh, I just want to show off a whole bunch of uh, Tarzan books. So these are from uh, Marvel. This is issue 23. And as you saw, there's a whole lot. So I'm just kind of going to burn through these. Uh, this issue 22. Issue 21, which I just saw is uh, drawn by Selba Seema. Uh, so that's uh, pretty good. Uh, issue 20. Issue 19. As you can see, these are still in bags and boards. So I haven't had a chance to really go through them. Uh, this weekend's been pretty busy. And... Um, what I will ask is, uh, if you know anything about these books, uh, please put down in the comments down below, because uh, I need to be educated. Uh, but we have uh, issue 18, issue issue 17, issue 15, 9, 7, 4, <laughs> we're getting down there, 3... Two, issue two, a special origin issue. Yeah, issue two of the Marvel run of Tarzan and <laughs> uh, annual two. I, I, they, they, uh, she didn't have issue one, which was a little bit disappointing. Um, but, you know, um, annual number two, issue number two, that's pretty good. Uh, but what I also have is the DC run of uh, Tarzan. So uh, we have issue 249, 248. Now I just, I love this cover by Joe Kerbett. It's uh, 240, 247. I just love it. It's it's absolutely fantastic. And these Joe Kerbett covers were uh, what enticed me to buy this, uh, this lot. Uh, I just, I fell in love with them. Uh, so issue 246, <laughs> this one, 245, a nice biplane. Oh, I just love all of these. This, this looks great. Look at this. Look. <laughs> so that's a 236. And we have a, a Tarzan Giant, uh, issue 234. 229. 228. 227. Now, that price tag is on the plastic sleeve, so that's nice. I like that. <laughs> 226. Uh, I've got to separate this a little bit. 224. And it's a bit of a bondage issue. Of bondage cover. 222. Or did I say 222 just then? 224. 222. Now, um, there's something about this. I don't know if it's because I've seen it online a few times. But is there something key about this issue? Is... Is this a uh, the first appearance of this character? As I said, I don't know anything about these books. Um, I've got to uh, sort them out, catalogue them, and then read them and enjoy them. And I think I'm going to. Um, we have 221. 220. 219. Just look at that cover. That's just brilliant. <laughs> 218. There's another oh, right there. <laughs> right there in front of me. 217. Now what the heck is going on here? 216. Oh, I just realized this is a statue. I, I didn't know what this was. Uh, but I'll hold it up for a little bit longer. 
but you can have a bit of a look. It's a really nice cover. So, uh, 215, 214, 213. Sorry, I just had to check that the number was there. Okay, 213, 211. Uh, right there in front of me. 210. So this is the fourth DC issue. And lastly, for Tarzan, Tarzan of the Apes, issue 209, the third issue. Uh, Joe Kerbert, just absolute gold. Um, yeah, I haven't even gone through this. haven't uh, taken them out of their bags. I really need to go through them and have a look. Um, I think I'm in for a bit of a treat. But I have... I have two more to go. So these are the ones that I picked up today from uh, my mate Billy. Billy the Geek. Uh, so Billy, if you're watching this, uh, I hope you are. Thank you very much for these issues. I, um, I'm very, very happy. What I have here is Bone, issue four, uh, 54. It's, this, it's the uh, second last issue, the penultimate issue. Uh, I wish I had issue 55. I love final issues of series. Uh, but this is the second last issue. So... Um, yeah, uh, I, I have looked through this and, um, the letter page does say that the next issue is the final issue. So it's not like bone ends on a surprise cliffhanger, uh, like an unexpected final issue. Uh, I think Jeff Smith, Jeff Smith knew that this series was ending and he's, uh, going out the way he wants, but, um, yeah, that's bone issue 54 and, um, this is the key issue for the video. I'll bring it up. Here we are. Stars and Stripe, issue zero, uh, by obviously DC, by Jeff Johns uh, in uh, July of 1999. So I was 19 at the time when this came out. It's the first appearance of Stars. Um, and we have Stripe here and we have, uh, we have um, Starman there. And I've gone through this. This looks great. Uh, this is linked to the JSA, my favorite DC uh, team. Um, and yeah, the JSA, Jeff Johns, I'm in for a good read. I cannot wait. Um, and I'm very happy to get this. Uh, it was a bit of a su surprise. It was, on the, uh, it was on the wall and I walked past it and I went, oh, I'm trying to be good with what I'm buying because I've been buying a lot lately. Um, but, uh, I, I did a circle of the, uh, of the, you know, of the town hall and I thought, look, I'll just buy it. Look, just buy it. Just this one, just this one. And I bought this and then I thought, yeah, there's another book I want to buy <laughs> and there's another book I want to buy, but no, uh, I just bought this. Um, I will say there was a copy of Ravage 2099 number one, uh, but it was the first 10 issues in a pack and the guy wanted $25 for it, which is a little bit much, uh, considering I have all the issues and like over a hundred uh, copies of the first issue. Uh, so I didn't pounce on that one. Uh, but that's the video for today. Um, I want to thank uh, Ethan for um, having us at Geelong today. Uh, it was a fantastic convention. Lots of people we knew, lots of fun. Uh, we met some new people, uh, we had some great conversations. It was just a great time. Um, great. <laughs> thank you for sticking with me there. I hope you've enjoyed. Please let me know what you think about these comic books. Uh, please put it in the comments down below. I will re I read everything. I appreciate everything. And I will catch you at the next one. Bye, guys.